In today's video, Off Season with Lauren Dannenmiller. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rebella from ProPhysique.com and today I have a very special guest, none other than Lauren Dannenmiller. How are you, Lauren? I'm good. Hi. Thank you for um, letting me be on your channel today. Oh, this is exciting. Well, first things first, Lauren has a fantastic channel as well. Her and her, Kyle, her boyfriend Kyle put out a lot of great information, so link to the channel below. Go like, subscribe, follow her journey. Um, yeah. For those that are not familiar, mm -hmm. why don't you give them the thousand foot view? Who is Lauren Dannenmiller? Yeah, hi guys, I'm Lauren Dannemeller. I've been working with Paul since 2015. And yeah, 2017, I finally got my pro card. So um, IFBB Bikini Pro, woo! And then I won the overall at MPC Nationals in Bikini too. And yeah, pretty cool. Um, I'm also an online coach, so I um, help lifestyle, or if you're looking into doing a show, I can help you get there in a responsible way. And um, they can reach out to you for like posing and stuff too, right? Yep, so yeah, I love like working with posing over Skype. What's the best way to get a hold of you? I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, you can just contact me at teamcosmicbodies at gmail.com. It's on the screen, so if you're interested in um, anything that Lauren has going on, uh, I also hear you have a really cool sponsor. Yeah, Core Nutritionals. <laughs> yeah, so Lauren is one of the core elite. Core Nutritionals this year has created like a tier system, which is very yeah. cool. So um, they immediately put Lauren and I in the core elite. So we are very uh, thankful to Doug for that. Mm -hmm. So we will be at the Arnold Classic yeah. this weekend. Actually, you're yeah. leaving tomorrow. I'm yep. leaving tomorrow. Yeah. So we will be in Ohio, booth 628. 628 reasons to stop by our booth. <laughs> Um, me and Lauren are two of them. So Katie Rutherford will be there, Doug will yeah. be there. Um, I'm probably gonna forget a few people, but whatever. If you wanna come by and see us all, please do um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, so, please come stop by, say hi, don't be afraid. Yeah. yeah. So the reason I wanted to have Lauren on the channel today was it's actually almost one year to the day. Well, one year, we started prep in January of last year. Yeah, January. So uh, Lauren, after taking a full two years off, we started prep with a, the goal of getting on the NPC stage and getting a national qualification because although you were nationally qualified previously, yeah. so we wanted to get to go to a national show. So the reason I wanted to do the video with you now is because I feel like I'm starting to have these same conversations with people. Mm -hmm. Is it the right time to prep? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get your thoughts because you did something kind of unconventional. You took a long time off. And you're also doing something unconventional this year. You're taking yeah. a year off from competing. Yeah. So why don't you give us your thoughts on um, kind of what convinced you to take a year off and some of the reasons you think that's a good idea? Yeah. So after you know nationals, got finally got the pro card. Um, it was it, it took all year to get that pro card. So I was you know constantly I was sh shredded pretty much for a whole year yeah. or dieting or whatever doing show show after show so um, yeah after nationals I was like I need to give my body a break because if I you know want to hit that pro stage I need to be fully recovered I need to have my strength high and my willpower high to do it again because yeah. when I do hit that pro stage it's gonna take I'm gonna have to do the same thing probably again me and Paul are saying like yeah. probably have to do five shows or something yeah. like that if I want to get that Olympia qualification so yeah I just I I love both sides like I seriously love the sport cool. I love competing I love improvement season so um, yeah I'm just improving I'm growing muscle right now getting just out of that the whole dieting phase raising up my calories and um, focusing on some other uh, other stuff right now too and then I'll be fully ready you know my willpower will be high yep. you know I'll be in a good place mentally and physically to go in it hard again so yeah I think I think that the 
a lot of people get caught up in the excitement of, you know, you just turned pro. I know a lot of people, even at the show, were like, hey, come do my show next year. You, you got like invited to do a lot of things. Yeah. And so you can kind of get caught up in that whirlwind of like, oh my gosh, people want me. I got to go do these. I don't want to let people down. Mm -hmm. But with Lauren, we literally started prep in January and prep ended at the end of November. Um, and, and although we did get to reverse diet some. And yes. I mean, honestly, your calories at the end of the season were probably higher than they were in your off season. I mean, they were really high. Yeah, we did. But at a low body fat, yeah. hormonally, you're just not in a good place. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't matter how much food you're yeah. eating when you're, when you're at... I mean, what did you get your body fat tested at in, in the yeah, middle of Yeah, I got my body fat tested and I was, like in June, I was 7% body fat. And, and that, that was a DEXA email. scan. Yeah, it was a DEXA scan. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's fairly accurate. Um, you know, your lean body mass, your bone density were all good, mm -hmm. but you know, for a female, so I'm assuming for the majority of the year, you lost your menstrual cycle. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I lost my menstrual cycle. I, I just, I, I used to run track and I would lose my menstrual cycle. Whenever I'm kind of stressed out, I, I'll lose it. But, um, yeah, so I did, I did lose it the majority of my prep and then, but then after nationals, I went straight into like a calorie surplus. Like I did the recovery diet yeah. and then I got my period within four weeks. That's I awesome. got it right back. So yeah. that was, that was really good. Yeah, yeah. I remember, I think might've been a week or two after your last show and you're like, I need more calories and we bumped up your fats and you were immediately like that worked. Like you, yeah. just, you just felt better. Yeah. Um, and, and I'll be honest, I still doubt your back at this point because it's only been three months. Yeah. Um, you, it'll probably start to click, I would guess, around summer. Like, it takes that long yeah. um, for the body to get back 100% to where it's been. I mean, it's actually been... I feel been, good, though. I really, you feel good? I really That's do. Awesome. Like, That's awesome. Because um, you're still lighter now than when we started prep last year, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I started prep at like 142. 142. Yeah. Yeah, and then right now I'm like... I'm 15 pounds above stage weight. Yeah, so, so in the mid 130s. So yeah. and I'll yeah. probably get back up to to 140. Yeah. Um, well, honestly, when we started prep, I was a little worried because I looked at her pictures at 140, and I was like, man, last time we started prep, she she was a lot lighter. But I also realized because you took that time off. I mean, I think I estimated you had gained seven or eight pounds of lean body mass. Yeah. Because yeah. I was comparing conditioning at the pictures, and I, I remember mm -hmm. sending you that email like. You know, the weights look funny, but look at the conditioning. Yeah. And, and it, so, like, yeah, you were literally seven or eight yeah. pounds. And this time, I'm going to look even better. Yeah, well, <laughs> the Olympia stage is the goal. And, like, it's it's very nice to have a clear, defined goal. And so that's what's going to make this improvement season oh, effective. Yeah. yeah, if you think about it, I only have, I don't know, like, ten months here or yeah. nine. Like, yeah, I got to get to work here. Yeah. So every day I'm like in the gym working like my hardest. Like I'm trying to grow these shoulders because um, I, I, I feel like I did lose some muscle towards the end of, you know, my, my prep. Yeah. But right afterwards, you know, I got back into a calorie surplus. I feel like I gained that muscle back fairly quickly um, just from the increase in calories and yeah. having energy in the gym and working hard. Muscle and I already definitely helps. Yeah. And I already feel like I've like put on some too. That's awesome. Way. That's so. awesome. <laughs> so I just wanted to encourage, I wanted to get her on here just to encourage those that are consistently prepping. You know, I watched a video the other day with Ashley Kaltwasser where she talked about, you know, the fact that she won three back-to-back -back Olympias um, and then she competed in a fourth Olympia and got fourth. And I think she did like 18 to 20 pro shows in that time, or she won 18 yeah. titles. Just the fact that she did four four years in a row, she started to prep this year for the for the Arnold and had to pull out because she just was not losing body fat. Mm -hmm. And I had a similar issue last year with Emily Hayden, who had competed for three years straight, and I talked Emily into taking this year completely off. Right, mm -hmm. so. I think it's an important message for those that are getting into the sport to understand that, especially for drug-free athletes that are doing this naturally, A, it takes a long time to put on muscle, mm -hmm. right? You do not put on muscle quickly as a drug-free athlete, right? So it's funny, I come from a natural bodybuilding background and I don't care whether you do steroids or not or do any of that stuff or not, I don't judge it, but I come from the background of natural bodybuilding, just mm -hmm. like your boyfriend Kyle, who yep. works with Alberto, like we know men just accept that it's going to take two, three, four years between shows. And that's what I do. Last time I competed as a natural pro bodybuilder was 2012 and I'm dieting now. So that's kind of what we accept. But I think mm -hmm. the female population in competitive sports can kind of get cut, stuck in that like yeah. feeling that you need to compete a lot. You kind of yeah. bucked that trend. So what, what gave you that confidence to do that? 
Um, again, like, like I know it's, it's, I know it's fun to get lean. I know it's, it's fun to like compete and you, but you just gotta do it for the right reasons. Like, I, I don't compete because I don't, I'm not comfortable in my body or I just like want to hit the stage and, and just keep going. Like I, w I want to actually like make it to the Olympia stage. And I yeah. know that that is, that's a huge goal and that's gonna take some time. And I would rather, like if I was doing a show, you know, I was like prepping this year, I don't think I would have made it to the Olympia stage. I mean, I would get burnt out from doing show after yeah. show after show. So I would rather take a whole year off here and you know, like I said before, just get myself in a really good position to, to do it all again. Yeah. Um, and, I, yeah. I agree. So the, the exciting thing for me is that you're starting to set the example that, you know, compete, time off, compete, time off. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, we might have had a few months of improvement season and then you would have started to prep and you would have needed to prep for the summer to get enough points to qualify for the Olympia. Mm -hmm. And we might have survived this season, but you mm -hmm. would have suffered. Mm -hmm. You would have ended up in a really bad place by the end of the year. Yeah. Um, like I care about my, my health. I care yeah. about my hormones and I want to do this for such a long time. Like I don't, you know, I want to be competing yeah. till I'm 40. Like I want to be doing this for, for a while. Awesome. Like this is not just like one thing. I just want to make it to the Olympia stage and just like go all Retire. you know? Yeah. Like yeah. I, I do see longevity in the sport too. Well guys. Hopefully you hear it from a national champion, not just me. I know I kind of talk about it all the time, but I wanted to get it. Lauren just moved out here near, in a, near us in New Tampa. So it's yeah. really cool. We get to do more stuff together. So yeah. hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. Um, we will see you at the Arnold. If you're there, please stop by and see us at the Core Nutritionals booth. And if you see us walking around, stop us and say hi. Be sure to like and subscribe to her channel below. And if you have any questions for us, go in the comments. I really like to uh, answer all the questions that I can. I know you'll check them yeah, out. Yeah, I'll get in there too. Yeah, so <laughs> you guys have an awesome day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.